everybody! I'm here today with a beginner driving lesson on stopping at stop signs for the driving test. In this video, I will be going over the basics of stopping at stop signs. And I will specifically be showing you what to do so that hopefully you can do it properly on the driving test and hopefully pass the test and get your license. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna explain the steps and then I'll demonstrate myself stopping at multiple stop signs and basically doing just as I'm explaining. So doing exactly what I'm telling you to do. So the first step is you wanna see the stop sign. You gotta recognize the stop sign, look for it, recognize it right away. Step number two is start to slow down. You gotta to start to slow your car down. You don't have to slam on your brakes because you should see the stop sign early enough, but slow the car down. Step number three is scan the intersection. And this is before you've even stopped. So as you are slowing the car down, you really wanna scan the intersection so you know, so that you know what's actually happening there, okay? So step um, number four is you want to potentially signal and start checking your mirrors and your blind spot um, as you are about to come to a complete stop, okay? Um, so if you are turning, you're gonna start to do your safety checks as you are almost stopping, okay? And some people like to do it after they've stopped, but I like to do it like right as you're about to stop. It all depends on what's accepted where you live. So do a bit of research, figure out what your driving test examiner is going to actually be looking for. But as a rule of thumb, I mean, as long as you do the checks relatively close to the stop sign, you should be okay. So that was number four. Step number five is come to a complete stop on time. So that means that the front of your bumper has to stop at the right spot. Now, as a rule of thumb, if there is a line on the road, you're gonna stop with the front of your bumper before that line. If there's no line and there's a sidewalk, it's gotta be before the beginning of the sidewalk walking area. If there's no line and if there's no sidewalk, it's gotta be, be before the beginning of the intersection, okay? So basically, you, as a rule of thumb, you wanna stop before the pedestrian crossing area. Wherever a pedestrian would be crossing, you gotta stop before that. That's like the easiest way to remember it. And then, uh, Step number six, look in all directions plus the, the beginning one again. So if I'm approaching a four-way stop, I'm gonna look left, center, right, left again. And the reason you do that left again is because of the sweep. So I'm going left, center, right, and as I go left again, I'm sweeping the intersection with my eyes again. And then uh, number seven is determine who has the right of way. And number eight is proceed when it is safe uh, to do so. And when it's your right of way and when it's safe to do so. And always remember that just because it's your right of way doesn't mean it's safe. Someone might still decide to go. All right, so let's do some demonstrations. I'm sorry about the long explanation, but I really wanted to go over everything so that you know what I'm doing as I'm doing it, okay? So there's a stop sign actually right up ahead. As I approach this stop sign, okay? I'm gonna speed up, slowing the car down, scanning the intersection, signaling right, doing my safety checks. As I come to a complete stop before the line, good to go, looking at the intersection, and then now I can proceed, okay? And as you saw, as I scanned the intersection, I actually checked again for my safety checks. Another stop sign, slowing the car down, signaling. I'm not going straight in any of these because I can't actually. Coming to a complete stop, doing my safety checks, stopped on time, scanning the intersection multiple times, Okay, and proceeding. Now, I am stopping at, at always stops, right? There, there are T intersections, but always stops, right? Um, like the three-way stops, but that's all of the directions. If you're stopping where there's like a through intersection in front of you, you gotta be extra careful. So now I'm just doing all of the things that I said without explaining it, okay? We're good to go. And now we're gonna approach another stop sign and I'll actually go straight. So I'm approaching the stop sign, I see it. I'm starting to check the intersection already to see what's happening, slowing the car down, no need to signal, stopping on time. Actually, I arrived at the same time as this person, but they have the right of way, because they, they are actually, we're both going straight and they're to my right. Um, so they have the right of way in this situation. Uh, so I let them go. And as you saw, I, I waved to them to go. And I gave them like a little high beam, like da -da, like a one, two on the high beam. This person just decided to sure just go and park in front of me in the middle of the road, I have to slow down. Uh, they were reverse parking, but they decided to just cut in front of me. So here's another stop sign, coming to complete stop. Actually, we're gonna go left doing the safety check, scanning the intersection. I'm here before both of these people who are, I thought they were gonna roll the stop, but they're both going the same direction. They're approaching the, sometimes you get someone that approaches the intersection so fast 
that you know they're not gonna come to a complete stop. And both of those people were doing that, but because they were both there and going in the same, they had to go onto the same street, they both had to come to a complete stop. That's the key with approaching a stop sign, whether you're doing it for the driving test or not. Come to a complete stop. You really should be coming to a complete stop for the reasons of safety for yourself and everyone else around you. Here's another one. Okay, I'm scanning, coming to complete stop. Now in this one, there's actually a sidewalk and a line. So I stopped before the line, but there's also a sidewalk um, with, a, with a pedestrian crossing line so that I know what's going on here, right? So that I know where everyone is going to be crossing, okay? Now, as you saw right there, I'm scanning the intersection multiple times and that's because I have time. But if you're there, I mean, you can scan it once as long as you scan it. Okay, so you do your scan and then, and you know, like you're assertive, like you know you have the right of way, okay? So once again, coming to complete stop, proceeding, and we are driving. And that's basically it. I mean, the steps for stopping at a stop sign for the purposes of the driving test are fairly simple. I'll do one more example. Um, and I'll try and do it a little bit slower as long as there's no traffic here. There's no stop sign here, so I'm just rolling through the turn, doing my safety checks again. Uh, there is a stop sign up ahead, so I'm gonna pick up some speed, so I gotta really push the brakes. All right, I see the stop sign, slowing the car down, looking at the intersection. I'm not gonna, <coughs> I'm not gonna turn right or left. Coming to complete stop on time. Left, center, right, left again. Good to go, there's no one else here. Proceed, and that's it. Be assertive as you go through the intersection and look ahead on the road so you know where you are headed and what's going on on the road ahead. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.